Um, the very first show I worked on was actually Anthony and Cleopatra. The first season I was here was one of the biggest seasons the stage company had ever done. And I kind of wondered what I'd gotten myself into. But <laughs> it was very exciting. Um, we did Anthony and Cleopatra, and we did this uh, play called Keen, based on the life of the actor from about the early 1800s, Edmund Keen. It looks so long going, doesn't and it was just it's a so huge cast. And, I've had it for and then we did a smaller play, and then we did The Greeks, which is a play cycle like Orphan's Home Cycle. And it was huge. And that's what I was sort of saying to somebody. It's like, you know, how often, this theater's done that twice, and how often do you get to do that in one lifetime of a theater doing huge, 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 that, you know, people talk about for a long time. The Greeks was a kind of wonderful thing. Um, and it also did the same thing. Uh, it had, I think, two opportunities to do a marathon, which I saw part of one. And um, it was another all-day thing. And it was like people had a religious experience. They they left out of here just, you know, agog, and it was pretty wonderful. There's there, you know, that like I, I was when I was writing some of the stuff for Room, you know, and Chris and Baker and I were talking that um, there are a lot of plays that were I really loved and that were my favorite that really did not have big fancy costumes. They were just, you know, ordinary plays, but they were just wonderful plays. Um, one of those that I wrote about was a, a play called And a Nightingale Sang, and it was a production that the Steppenwolf Theater from Chicago brought us. And uh, Joan Allen, the actress, was a very young actress, and she was in that. And I lived downtown when the Goodwin building used to be a, 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 an apartment building. And it, I came at least three times a week and would stand up in the back and watch them. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> but there, I mean, there's, there's been a lot. I mean, another really kind of wonderful play that, that we did uh, was... Um, what was it called? And I can't remember the name of it. But it was about these three women. The cast was three women and one guy. And uh, they were Victorian women sort of going on a little safari journey kind of thing. And so we made these little bustle dresses and little pith helmets and, you know, their little backpacks and all the stuff. And so as they're going along, they realize that they are... Going on the verge. On the verge, that's right. <laughs> As they are going along, they're moving into the future. And it becomes all about language because these words keep popping into their head. And they don't know what they are or where they come from. Like Cool Whip or Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> and it's, it was just sort of this magical thing about language and it was really quite wonderful. <laughs> 